Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use a constructor to create objects. Here's the bird constructor from the previous challenge. So we've got the same thing here, uh, a function with a capital bird, capital first level of bird, and then we've got the name, uh, this dot color is equal to blue, and this dot number of legs is equal to blue. And now what we're going to do is create a new bird by saying we're going to set a variable of blue bird equal to a new bird. Notice that the new operator is used when calling the constructor. This tells JavaScript to create a new instance of bird called bluebird. Without the new operator, this, in, this inside the constructor would not point to the newly created object, giving unexpected results. Now bluebird has all the properties to find inside the bird constructor. So they show bluebird and they're doing dot notation, name, color, and number of legs all relate to the values that we set within the function. Just like any other object, its properties can be accessed and modified. So bluebird.name can be set to equal Elvira, and then we've changed the name of the bird to Elvira. Uh, we want to use the dog constructor from the last lesson to create a new instance of dog, assign it to the variable hound. So we're going to say let hound equal uh, new dog. And then if we read console.log hound, we're going to see that we've got Rupert Brown with four legs. The brown dog named Rupert with four legs. And that's what we've created here with Hound. So that's what the constructor does. The constructor allows us to do that. We could also do it again. We could say let um, uh, Rufus is equal to a new dog. And then we could say, um, you know, console log Rufus. And uh, we've got another dog named Rupert in color and brown. Now, in the future, we'll use these more effectively. But for now, um, uh, this is the code that passes the test. Um, anyways, we're going to keep working on these. Um, these constructor functions become especially useful. Um, this is just a function that creates a new object. Um, if we were going to go to type of on the hound, um, you'll see that we've created a new object. Whereas if we were to do um, dog, well, you see we've got a function. So we're not writing a object here, we're writing a function, and then when we do new, we create, we um, run the function new on the dog object, that means that we get, and that we set that equal to hound, then we get what's well, an object, and then the hound is equal to there. And with hound, we could also go, you know, dot uh, color, and that'll give us the string of brown. If we did that, you'll see that we get the string, because it's returning a string. Um, anyways, I hope this is helpful, uh, and uh, you guys know how to pass the tests. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.